Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sarah Chen Spellings from Washington, D.C. I run the Billion Dollar Fund for Women, now called Beyond the Billion, uh, the world's first and largest global consortium investing into women-founded companies, venture capital. There is this terminology of a non-political leader. And today we're faced with so many issues from um, Asian hate crimes to Roe v. Wade and all these issues that stakeholders have a view, right? And as representatives, as the face leading your companies that touches so many lives, you're looked to, to take a stand. And recently, you know, 2020, 2021 with George Floyd and all that, we've had um, instances in, in the Valley where uh, a third of the company left when a CEO of Coinbase and Basecamp actually decided uh, the workplace is not for politics. How would you advise a young leader who is at the forefront of building a company that's not yet, you know, 60,000 employees struggling with resources, but also with a growing generation of stakeholders that care about who this leader represents and the values that they represent. Thank you. A nice simple one. I think in England that's what's known as a corker. Um, <laughs> th there's probably no topic that corporate leaders are spending more time on than this one because it is such an imperative you have a war for talent people want to work for organizations that align with their values simply saying silent isn't one of the options and you've seen large cross sections of the corporate world speak out on big issues make statements about the values of what the company stands for now you're seeing some backlash of companies gone too far. Nobody's got this completely figured out, but I will give you a few thoughts just in terms of what we see at clients right now, some of where the dialogue seems to be headed. Really important that companies continue to be willing to speak out on values. It's also not reasonable to expect that companies can become the arbiter of every divisive societal issue. So there's issues upon which society is split pretty evenly down the middle. And you know, business is actually going to lose trust if it comes out and is viewed as politicized and wading in on the most contentious issues that divide communities. Now, fortunately, there are big cross sections of these issues that should be pretty inclusive, that should draw people in from across the political spectrum, that are grounded in values. If you tune into you know, various forms of you know, cable news and social media, much of the conversation is grounded in the 5% that's highly divisive. That takes up most of the oxygen, but that leaves the 90 to 95% where you ought to be able to have statements that are unifying, statements that bring people together across different political beliefs that demonstrate to employees. I think businesses need to weigh in, but it, it would also be important in my mind that businesses are leaders weigh in where, where they actually have a credible stand based on the business they have. So you, you don't want to have CEOs that have an opinion about everything. Uh, uh, and, uh, and we have actually, we have what we call a brand board. We actually sit there and we have made specific decisions on what are topics where we believe we would be a good spokesperson for business or where, wherever we stand, I mean, taking children's perspective, where would be, it be important that we have a position and then we leave other positions kind of more open, not to have me profile as somebody that has a position about everything. And I need to be very careful that I don't mix up my personal political belief with the stand we, has, we have as a company. And, uh, and that's something that is, uh, is difficult. And, uh, and, uh, and you just have, I think, to involve that and, and have your board or whoever you have around that to try to get some of that agreement pre-made so you know what to do if you're a, I think the question was, a young founder of a company. Then I think I would pick a few areas close to what, what the purpose of that company really is. And I would focus in on that because you don't want to be starting a company and, and then fiddling around and having opinion about all, all things in society. Then I'm, then you may not be successful with your company. <laughs> be with you. <laughs> yes, Henry Schein should have an opinion on healthcare. But when it comes to things that, for example, you did mention hate crimes, in the United States, it's a big issue. I think business can't be silent. And there are other examples. I don't want to get into too much detail. 
But yes, Henry Schein has a very significant active role in providing uh, and advancing access to care. I mean, we're involved in, you name the organization we're involved with. Yes, that's our domain. But there are certain items where society crosses the line where I think business has a responsibility to speak out.